Last week, Senator Angus King Jr. of Brunswick turned in the required number of signatures to get on the ballot in Maine. 5,000 signatures from all over the state, every county. The process now is that they check them and see that they're notarized. Hopefully in an hour or so, uh, uh, we'll have a fully certified place on the ballot. He took questions from members of the press. Well, it's the polarization is real. And unfortunately, it seems to be getting somewhat worse, even in the Senate. Again, if we're going to get anything done, whatever it is, it's going to take people working together. Then he took questions from his toughest critics yet, students from nearby Albion Elementary School. Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah. yeah. I used to work here, and my job was to be the governor. And one night, I was supposed to be on television. And I got here, and all the doors were locked. And I climbed in this window. <laughs> and it was unlocked, and I climbed in and went upstairs. Do you all have any questions? Yes, ma'am. Well, they have the keys. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have the key either. It was amazing. Yes, I had a state trooper with me, and he had to climb in after. I'll see you all later. <laughs> Just before noon, we found out that Angus had officially made it onto the ballot. We met up with volunteers. Hey, we're on the ballot. We got the signatures. We just, we just turned them in. We're all, we're all good. Angus kicked off their canvas to talk to voters in Augusta about why it's so important to vote in November. And we called it a day.